listening have really low is really high, but I always end up writing about the really low stuff. And I need to write more about stuff that are just normal, everyday thing, like walking to the station, or it's freaking raining out there kind of poem, kind of thing. And yeah, so this last poem is called, I also wrote it like, I was like, I'm obsessed with this form of poetry, but it's great. Um, and it's called a gazelle for celebrating black joy. If I had to write what it means to live black joy, it would look peaceful, ethereal, and golden. It would be a blessed black joy. The smell of rice and spicy beef stew with extra crispy plantain, malt peanut soup. Food that walks with our soul, the clanking sound of pot lids opening for seconds of seasoned black joy. Waves, weaves, wigs, multicolored braids, afro cornrows. Sitting between our mother's legs, a rebirth is a table of black women writing how to hold black joy. I'm trying to be like you, says the brother at the gym in the library, on the road, in the men's toilet, to the other brothers who also reply with the same, nah, I'm trying to be like you. And at one point they make bodily contact, knuckles to knuckles, shoulders to shoulders, forming brotherly bond, positively charged black joy. Sitting outside with the cousins as childhood reminisces about us, playful laughter that swallows time, we slowly pull apart our ashy, scraped ashy knees that bleeds black joy. Another day in the barber shop, another counseling session, another place that feels like home, the haircut posters, the mirrors, the music and the saggy brown leather seats that franchises homely black joy. Trying to dismantle things that hurt us whilst basking in the glory of what it means to live black joy. My father pours condensed milk all over his porridge with a smile. Mum is chatting to her siblings back home, laughing so loudly, thrums through the layers and the creaky stairs. They taught us to take pride in little things that bring us the slightest bit of joy.